Today we're going to be learning about P versus NP. <laughs> Wait, what's so funny? Nothing, nothing. Keep going, keep going. Okay, and we will be talking about NP hardness also. <laughs> Wait, so what have you brought me? A proof that P is not equal to NP. Wait, so if I understand correctly, you're saying that if P equals NP, then therefore P is equal to zero or N is equal to one. Really? Can I have my million dollars now? So now we're going to be talking about Turing machines that also have some advice to help them achieve things that they couldn't achieve before. Got it. So Turing machines are just algorithms that can get more power with advice. Yes, we will be talking about giving advice to polynomial time Turing machines. Okay, what is the class called? So the name of the class where you add a polynomial amount of advice, because that's all it can do, to a polynomial time Turing machine is called p-poly. I had no idea complexity theory would teach me about polyamory. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about bounded error probabilistic polynomial time Turing machines, or BPP for short. I have to be the PP? All right, I'll be the PP. Back in the intro theory class, you learned about this thing called the post-correspondence problem, or PCP for short. Yes, I thought I was on drugs during that. So in this class, we're going to be learning about probabilistically checkable proofs, also called PCP for short. Hello, darkness, my old friend. So you learned about the class BPP before, now we're going to be learning about the class PP. So the things that we can show about PP is that it's low for itself, which means that if you take PP to the power PP, therefore that's equal to PP. Is every computer scientist sexually frustrated? That was easy. That was easy. That was easy.